Welcome to Deanne Fitzpatrick Studio, our regular Thursday live. Here we are at the studio, and we should turn on the bright lights and see what we get here. Ange, maybe we'll turn on the lights today on the brighten up the place a little bit. Look at that. When I turn on those lights, how you can really see the color. And we'll just have a little bit more light. Hi, Joan Wells. You're watching. And Sherry Young is watching from Maine. Uh-oh, I've got an empty frame. Look at all the threads on this frame. And how many? Lisa Dilsol Dil Dil from Massachusetts. And Wendy Brown from Parisboro. Joan Wells is watching. Look at all the threads on there. And hello, Sheila from Ottawa. And Randy Cohen, eating. She's, she's eating her oat cakes as she watches from Virginia. Isn't that great? I've got a blank canvas here that we're going to fill today. And um, hi, Joni Black from Montreal. And let's turn on the fire over here and get cozy. Well, don't have a big fireplace, but we got a nice little bit of fun going there. And we'll keep Angela warm out here. Jody Madsen is watching, and Linda Brown is watching. Kimberly Hurt, Carol Cooper. Oh, I love it that I see so many of you um, again and again each week. Hello, Jennifer Brennan. Jennifer, and I was out to supper with Jennifer the other night. Vicki Rice Yanda from Nebraska. Karen Hawthorne from Butler, Pennsylvania. And Anna, Anna Sutherland from Moncton, I think. I'll show you what's in our studio picks over here. Sharon Fitzpatrick Peary. Now I know her. She's my sister. She taught me how to crochet. Oh, there's some real, real beauties in the studio pics. Just to give you a little taste of what we got going here. A little, there's a little sparkle. Anybody needs a bit of sparkle? I love this one. We had a few leftovers from a wool box. All of the ones I'm showing you now are $14.95. Um, and here we go. We're going to... Uh, Say a few more hellos from Mary Hancocks from Rothsay and Dana Curtis Robinson. And there's Angela over there. Hi, Angela. Hi. Ooh. Oh, and this is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be talking about some things. Um, I'm going to pass it over. Oh, Susan Sutherland said she loved the oat cakes. We really had, we really had the, uh, we really had fun with sending out the oat cakes to everybody. And uh, I'm going to pass this over to Angela. And welcome everybody today. Welcome to my studio. I'll show you what I got planned for today. I always have it all. I have it written down here in my little, my little notes. So I'd like to show you about hanging a hooked rug. Uh, that's one thing I'd like to do. And it's, it's really simple. Um, and I'm going to show you with that little say it one over there. Um, I'd like to um, also show you a few things. Greg has a new collection. Um, I want to talk about uh, our selfie challenge and what's been happening. I also want to talk about our podcast and what we're doing with the podcast. I want to announce our selfie winner because we had a winner. And Kathy, who, McDonald, who's our Saturday person, she works here on Saturday with Darla and Terry. And together um, they make kits and do all kinds of things. Well, Kathy also decided that... Uh, she's the one who thought of the selfie challenge. That's not mine. That's not me. So I thought, but I love the idea. And, and meeting, I feel like I'm meeting you all. So many of you, like for the first time, I've never seen you before. Or seeing you again, knowing that you've been here to workshops. It's been really funny. So we're going to announce the selfie uh, challenge. And people have, you know, have done such a good job with their selfies. But I want to start about how do you hang a rug. So if the rug is framed, like this one here, it's pretty simple. You put the nail on the wall and you just lay it over. Now, when you hang a rug like this, even a big rug, this could be a very large rug, it doesn't matter. I use a thing called map pins. And these are map pins. I just gotta find them here, Ange. You buy them at like Staples or wherever. I use first of all, I use a fine nail if I'm if it's a really big rug. Sometimes I'll put in a row of fine nails, and then I'll take the binding and put the binding over the nail, and that will hang the rug. So I'll put a row of nails. So for example, for this rug out here, right here, 
there's a row of these fine nails. So these, this is about a, a one inch nail and it has a little head on it. And then I just take where it's bound and I lay it over. So I don't have to put anything through the rug. The other option, that's, that's a wooden wall. Now, if I had, um, if I had, um, a really big rug, I could still do it with map pins. Uh, we do it all the time with map pins. You just have to put in a lot of map pins. The beauty of map pins is that if your rug is really big, you can straighten it out and, you know, change it. So I'm going to move this rug to right out here and I'm just going to grab a couple of map pins and I'm going to hang it. So this is a very small rug, but still it's, it's handy. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to put the say it rug here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my my uh, wool and I'm going to push the mat pin in there. Whoops, that one busted on me. And then I will cover and hide the head. So let's try again. You do have to be careful. You might want to use a thimble when you're pushing in the mat pin because it's hard on the hand. I have a little tiny hammer. I always keep a really small hammer around like this. And you can push it in like that if you want. And once you get it started. And then what I want to do is I want to cover up the pin so you can't see it. Now see how that's not perfectly straight? The thing about map pins, so I'm going to do another one over here finding a spot, pushing it in, and this only works for gyprock. If your walls are plaster, it's not going to fit in. So like in my house at home, I would have to use a nail. And then I'm hiding the thing. So see how this isn't perfectly straight? Then I can take it and I can stretch it. And I love that about the map pins. So I give it a push. I used to just push it in with my fingers, but now I don't want to, like sometimes I've knocked the head off and, but if you give it a little tug like that, ah, I find, and then I hide the map pin. So that looks good there, I, I like it. I love that little rug. I gotta get out my stencils again. Oh, that'd be fun. So I've got a couple, I've got some plans. We are going to go ahead with color school in the spring. And uh, we decided that uh, we're going to do color school and design school again in the spring. We're going to do color school first and design school. So keep your eyes open for the next couple of weeks and, and know that. I just wanted to talk about Wildflowers in the Glen. It started and uh, we've put up our lessons. And Angela, did you put up more lessons today? Uh, th today's Thursday, so you're going to put up more lessons today. I am. Four more, probably. Yeah. And uh, that's going to run for three weeks. And some people, uh, just one or two people have said that the pattern isn't exactly like the pattern that I have drawn. It's very, very close, but there will be some lines that are different. And I just want to encourage you to forge on because when you're talking about creating a pattern from an original work, like the original one I just sketched on. So there may be some different lines and there were some different lines last year. We add, sometimes we add a few more lines in the pattern so that you will have more to guide you actually is what we do. Um, so don't get frustrated, just plow ahead and, and know that it's, you know, you're creating a, you're creating a, a design from a pattern, but you're also, uh, can, you're going to have to use your intuition a little bit. And that's part of the way that I hook. Okay. There's a lot of, um, action in there. Most, I think most people are really forging ahead and doing really well. So that's it for the hanging the rugs. We got that. Now I want to show you our Italian scissors because they're really beautiful. I think I have a pair opened in here. I'm just going to pop them out for me. Hang on one second. Nope, they're at home. So we don't have many of these left, but they are on the website. And if you want to buy someone a really beautiful little gift, these are our five inch Italian scissors and they're very sharp. Okay. 
Uh, they're nice and sharp, and I just want to show you them. They're gold. And if you wanted a little scissor for like snipping, or even if you wanted a little scissor just to keep around, probably not for your, uh, I would say, not for cutting your linen or your burlap, but you can, but, uh, but like, it's a great scissor for this, for hand cutting your wool. And we just have, um, I think we have a dozen pairs left, and that's about all we'll have of those. And it's great for hand cutting. So I wanted to show you that, and then I want to show you Greg's new collection, because we had our Coastal Blues collection, which sold out in a day. Pretty good, eh? All right. We had our Coastal Blues collection, which sold out in a day, and I'm going to show you his collection in a minute. But the next thing I want to do is I want to design something. So... Someone so sometimes people call and they want a custom pattern and I drew a custom pattern here before and this is something that I'm working on if you go on the website you'll find out about this because we just added it to our new online classes um, we're gonna should I tell them now I tell everybody now or wait a little bit let's wait a little bit okay keep them right. in suspense keep that's everybody fun. in suspense all right so that's a project I'm working on there there's Greg's project so Greg has drawn me a nice space here, and I really believe in the whole idea of scattering seeds, right? So I created a rug a long time ago, and I'm just going to go get it for you. It's called Scatter Seeds Wherever You Go, and it was in the back of this book. And so I'm going to hand, and this book is no longer in print now, so here it is. Is this the one it was in? No, wrong one. It's in the back off this one inspired rug hooking because I really believe that that's that's what we're supposed to do scatter seeds we're supposed to spread the word so I'm going to take that image and it was something like this but it had scatter seeds wherever you go, written in the side, and it had a woman kind of scattering seeds. So let's, that wasn't it exactly, now I remember. So here we go, and we're gonna do a woman. So I think we'll do her with long hair. She's throwing up seeds. There's her seeds. Let's put a bird in her hand. Oh. Oh. I was out at the Glen the other day, and there was little children there, and they would hold out the seeds, and um, they were like the little chickadees would come right on their hands, and I, I was listening to a child like squeal at the light, at the sound of the chickadee. Okay. We'll put her arms like this. And we're just gonna have her in a dress. like that and then just kind of her legs there like that and put the arm like that and let's make her dress a little bit more beautiful and let's write on it right on it here
square ever is two words. So we're just going to change that wherever. Okay, so we've got this, we've got our seeds wherever you go. Now we need more seeds. And I think over here, this is going to be like a really blank spot. So let's put seeds over here and maybe... I just feel like a sunflower or a flower over here. Now that was not in the original rug, but when I make a custom design, I just try to make it original. And if the person decides they don't want this, they can just omit it or leave it out. But I just think it will be really beautiful to have that over there. And I'm gonna change this a little bit. Any questions? There's some concern over wherever, whether or not it's two words. I'm well, let's no, just look it up. Wherever you go, I think let's just look it up. All right. Wherever you go. All right. Wherever you go. Wherever. Wherever is one word. <laughs> Wherever is one word. So we're going to have to change that. Where I was right in my instinct. Wherever. Okay, so now I'm going to change this. So what I would do when I make a mistake in a design like this is I would just take a different color Sharpie. and outline it again, and then X out this. Okay, so there it is, wherever you go. Uh, Linda Armberg, that's funny. What'd she say? She's like, is this a custom pattern for someone? Or can you buy it? She's asking for, <laughs> she's asking for a friend, laugh out loud. <laughs> we can, uh, we can, uh, make another custom pattern like this. It'll be slightly different. So now what are we going to do up top? Um, and what are we going to do with her dress? Uh, I think I want to put something on her dress. But what do you guys think about her dress? I feel like... I don't feel like I want to, I think I'm just going to put a necklace on here, on her, right here. Lisa thinks she should have a flower dress. A floral dress? Well, I would have thought so too. Ooh, we're getting a lot of flowers. A lot of flowers. Well. And a sun above her from Carol Cooper. And a sun above her. Oh, Nancy says an apron. No, I'm sorry, guys. I think I'm just going to go, like, with a real simple dress. I think I'm going to put a line on here, like this. And I think I'm going to, like, give her, like, some... Because I want... And i feeling like I could add more sunflowers up there if I wanted, but... No, I think I'll leave it. I think I think if we have too much action. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. A pocket for her seeds. Oh, that's a good one. All right. Just putting in some lines for her chest there. And let's do a pocket.
And I think up here, I just want more seeds because she's like throwing up the seeds. And I think I'll go back to my old fashioned paisley feeling that I like to play with. Hi, Linda Strobridge. I just seen. That's Angela's old friend. Yeah, we worked together, oh my gosh, maybe 20 years ago in Halifax. At the library? Or? Yeah. And now she's in the U.S. Oh. All right. There we go. That's it. That's the custom design. And so someone tells me, basically, and I, I create them. And that's how we do it. And uh, I'll have to send a little gift and say I'm sorry for that. Or we can read, or we can either, if she doesn't want us to do that, maybe we could just um, trace this too. But I'm pretty happy with it. Do you want you guys want to see it? I think it's pretty nice. Oh, the window, we gotta. Oh, we gotta go this way? We gotta okay. go this way. All right. How much time do we have left, Angela? About seven minutes. Okay. So I don't have a rug on the frame today. And um, that's because I just finished the caribou and I just finished another uh, quite a large rug at home. And I'm just giving my hand a little rest for a couple of days. And uh, I don't have anything to hook today. So that's a bit weird. I do have um, this uh, small frame set up if we, if we thought. But I thought today I'd focus on design. So what I'm doing here now is I'm getting ready to teach you an online course. We're going to do we're going to do two a few online courses this spring and one of them is going to be if you like that designing and talking about design um I'm going to combine um a caribou. I'm going to do a caribou course and about using the caribou template. So I've created my own homemade caribou template and I'm going to take the rug. I think we could walk out and have a look at the rug on the wall, Angela. Do you think we could? Do you think we could walk Let's, out there? We can try. And it's not for quite a while. It's not until April 19th, and it's going to be a live Zoom workshop. Um, we're going to work with Rebecca Humphreys is going to help us so that we have the Zoom down pat, and Angela and I are going to do that together. So it means that you will hook with a group uh, for the whole time. Look at what Greg has died. This is all coming on the website. We're coming out, you guys. We're just going to go out and look at the caribou rug. Everybody. Huh? We're holding. I got to go slow because. Oh, hold up. Can you get around the corner? <laughs> Can you get around the corner, Angela, and just have a look at that beautiful rug? We're just going to go really slow. Really slow. I'm going to sit and hook because I just can't not hook. Okay. Okay. Where's their rug from last week, Dan? Oh, do they want to see that? Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you. Okay. Oh, hold on. This is... Ah! <laughs> Hi, Kaylee. There's Caribou Rug. Right oh, we there. made it. We made it. So that rug is the inspiration for the course. Now, the course that I'm doing is just a one-day Zoom course. It's April 19th. You have to pre-register. When you pre-register, we're going to send you a pattern. And it's not exactly like that pattern, but it's inspired by that pattern, okay? Um, that is what we're going to do. We're going to show you, we're going to get you, and then we're going to talk about designing with the caribou template. And we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about designing with the caribou template, and we're going to do it all live. There will be three hours of video. And then there will be two hours of hooking. So three hours of video, two hours of hooking. It's April 19th. And it's basically the same as our as our webinar, I think. It would be very similar, except for it's a bit longer, eh, Angela? Mm -hmm. And it's not just hooking. So it's not just, um, here. here's how you hook this. Here's a package. There's a little bit of design mixed in with it. And I think we're going to have fun. Um, I'm, I'm excited by it. I just want to show you. Let's, let's have a look at what's in the, in the, in the messy bit spin and let's do a little hooking because I just don't feel like it's a day spent without hooking. I just feel weird not hooking on this, but I didn't have a frame. I didn't have a rug on the go and I just don't want to make something up. You know, I, I, I think I always, almost always have something on the go, but my daughter came home this week and I'm 
and I'm hanging out with her a bit and um, I just finished two big rugs and I can show you just hook them with some sari it's so nice I love it um, I can show you what I did last week what do you think I did with those pansies or those poppies we don't really know do we what I did do you no. know what I did no did you see it Come on, we'll go back out back, because you wait there. I'll run and get it. All right. Hi, Greg. Hello. Bring them back my caribou here. I got some caribou templates. And I'm going to bring you back this rug and show you what I'm doing. What are you doing, Greg? I'm making a kid. What kid are you making? Lady and her dog. Nice. Oh, we're cutting out. What? That's good. Doesn't matter. What are you up to, Kaylee? Updating the product. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> we can look at all the other rugs here on the wall. I just put those ones up every day. Oh, this was the other one from the Wildflowers in the Glen. This was the second one from the same pattern. Yeah, that's really neat. Oh yeah, those are really cute. What size are they, Kaylee? Like four by four? Or three? They're really cute. Oh, we have some more back here as well. So, Greg, what's the name of the new collection you dyed? I can do another pan of the shop for you. It's like walking into a candy store every day. So everyone that's doing the online course, how are you how are you liking it so far? I've seen a couple uh, photos on Wild with Wool. They look beautiful. So I'm not really sure where Deanne went. <laughs> Maybe I should go find her. <laughs> She's probably waiting for you. <laughs> oh, we can look at some more of Greg's beautiful work. This here is gorgeous. I'm back here. Oh, I thought you were coming. <laughs> no, I was watching. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what you're doing. I was watching the live. Oh, I thought you were coming. <laughs> what i did with the with the flowers last week this is probably going to be a, this we're going to use for a kid of the month at some point and it's our pansy pattern Ooh, and nice. uh, so instead of poppies i did i turned it into pansies and it will be an upcoming kid of the month um and uh, kid of the month is closed up right now but you can join again the first of march and i'm going to take this and have it turned into a pillow with a black background and i just think it would look sweet sweet on the wall over there with the yellow chairs don't you guys i just instead of having the black and white which is kind of wintry i thought that'd be a good summer so that's what I did this week. So I finished three rugs this week. So that's why I haven't got a rug on right now. Anyway, thanks for watching today. I know that you lost me for a little while. She was out there talking to Greg, and I thought she just found something interesting. So I just let it go. I didn't know. <laughs> I, <was laughs> I, heard say, I don't know where Deanne is. <laughs> anyway. Oh, we forgot about Greg's collection. I was talking about Oh, that. no. Okay, I'll go get it. So this is so get ready for our caribou workshop. Um, I, and I hope that lots of people will join it and it's going to be a live workshop April 19th and we will be doing color school uh, before that probably 
Uh, we'll see. So this is Greg's collection. It's called the Fossil Cliffs Collection. And I'm just going to open it up. And it's beautiful. This would, be, this would be actually good inspiration for our caribou. Uh, this would be good inspiration. Now, these, again, these collections are limited, okay? We don't have tons of them. Um, I think we, we run out. And uh, so there's five swatches in there. Oh, these are like, this is like perfect for the caribou, actually, isn't it? I really love this good. collection. Yeah. You did it. And then we've got Soft Sister. And then we have our Peruvian yarn right there like that. And then we have this new yarn that we've got in, which is kind of a, uh, we call it Outback. It's an Australian wool. And this one is a half a skein of a brown sari. And then we have the sari um, cord, the silk cord that's wrapped in gold. But this is a new collection. It's called Fossil Cliffs. Greg dyed it this week. He dyed it all up this week. And we have limited quantities if you want it. It's there on the website under collections. And the new class for April 19th is posted. Um, we, we posted it up, so I'm going to pack this one away again. And uh, it's here. And, and that's all I got for you this week. Next week, I imagine I'll be hooking again. I don't know what. It's not. I have a few ideas. I'm kind of inspired uh, by Patricia. Patricia just did a rug of circle and squares uh, that we were doing like a color school recordings for it. So I'm kind of interested in that. I might do something. And I'm kind of interested in abstract. And, of course... I'm interested. I, I'm i still kind of in love with the caribou. I still feel like, you know, so that's what I've been playing with over here. So today was a lot about design. And, and in that class, I'm going to teach you a lot about design and, and the elements. And I've got all kinds of different sizes of caribou and I'm playing with it. This is one of the, one of the, Oh, you know, it's the, like, walk the line, except for I made the line slanted, so that's done. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Kathy, hey, we're not done. What? Kathy McDonald, who's the winner? Everybody oh, my who's gosh, winner? who's the winner? Bonnie Goodyear was the winner on a random draw, and she was the one who had the kissing the cod rug of the selfies. And on the selfies. So on Wild with Wool. So Bonnie wins a free wool box, and we're going to send it off to her. But here's the thing. I have so enjoyed seeing your pictures and and watching you on Wild with Wool. Like every time I go on there, I start putting names to to people, and it's been really really important um, uh, to see to put faces with all these names. So I said to Kathy, I just want to continue to do that. So we're going to have a bonus edition of the selfies, and we're going to continue. So Bonnie has won because this was the draw date. Bonnie won for kissing the cod, which I think Newfoundlanders don't generally kiss the cod, Bonnie, I, if I'm correct. I think that you you went all out on that one because I think that people, uh, like, we, you know, it's more like about getting other people to kiss the cod, isn't it? I don't know. I kiss the cod. You kiss the cod, but you're not a Newfoundlander, Greg. In St. Anthony? Anthony. <laughs> he kissed the cod in St. Anthony. And drank some screech. And drank some screech. Yeah. And it was fun? Oh, yeah. Well, that's who won our selfie. She had made a big rug of a codfish, and it's a beautiful codfish. Did he kiss you back? Yeah, did he kiss you back, the cod? He was frozen solid. <laughs> <laughs> he took him out of the freezer, I think. I think it was the cod that was probably caught in 1977. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's no kissing the cod these days. If you get a chance to get screeched in Newfoundland, do it. It's okay. A great time. Is it? It's fun? He had fun. Oh, we we danced. We had a great time. <laughs> so there you go. Everybody should visit Newfoundland. It's a fantastic place. So is everyone that has has a selfie already, do they have to re-enter the contest? No, I don't think so. I think that we'll go back and do, uh, I think, I think I'll think i ask Kathy, but I think that we can just, you can, you like, if you feel like putting up another selfie, you can put up as many selfies as you want. Just more chances that you'll win when the time comes, isn't there? Really? So uh, I don't mind if, you know, if you put up uh, more selfies. Like, so if you want to, like, let's not say, don't put in 70 entries. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, if you want to put up four or five, who cares? It's great. We're having fun. So keep entering. And we're going to do in two more weeks, uh, two, two more weeks, because like last night there was like 20 selfies. So I don't want to stop this. It's too fun. So let's, let's keep it going for a little while. And just keep putting up your selfies and showing us who you are and showing us what you make. And remember to share this this live video because when you share rug cooking, you just never know what you're sharing. I just feel like, 
I don't know. Like, I, I feel like we're doing something here, you know? I feel like you're doing something when you teach your neighbors how to hook rugs. And I feel like you're doing something when you're home with your rugs. And, and I really, really sincerely believe that. And I'm glad you came here today on Thursday to be with me in the live. And I'll be hooking again next week. Who knows what I'll be hooking, but I'll be hooking something. See ya. And if I may add, yes, in a few weeks, we have something special coming up. Oh, we do. But we're not going to say anything. Angela. Angela. Angela is very talented. That's what I got to say about that. <laughs> couple of weeks i think it'll be around the 10th of march 11th of march or something like that we'll have a little little gift to share in our orders i think i'm excited i know i am too oh, so there's the there's it there's the pansies greg's collection 